Hello, welcome back, my weirdos. The Boys. The Boys is an Amazon Prime TV show that debuted in July of 2019 from graphic novel artist Garth Ennis in his 2006 run of The Boys. The TV show has since deviated dramatically from the comics in the best way possible, I think. Season 1 no spoilers right now season one opens up with uh the inciting incident which no spoilers but if you haven't seen it i fully suggest that you guys watch it it is the best show that i've seen uh in the past 10 years i mean it's amazing uh one thing that i will say is that the writing is a little on the nose so if you are a republican you might not like it because uh, they poke fun at capitalism a lot. So maybe you guys, you know, might be a little too sensitive. Might be to go to your safe space away from the boys. Season three, you guys. Uh, you know, Jensen Ackles, Ackles, whatever, is set to be on it. I mean, this is huge. Aaron Kripke, the writer, director of the show, uh, he is... The same guy that did Supernatural, so uh, Jensen Ackles is uh, no surprise that he got him. Um, he's playing Soldier Boy, which it's rumored that he is going to be on the boys' side. Now, uh, will having an additional suit besides the female on the boys' side make any difference? We don't know. Uh, one major difference between the comics and the TV show, there's a stuff called Compound V. If you don't know it, that's cool. Uh, watch a fucking show. Basically, it's what gives people their powers. Um, you have to give it to them when you're a baby, though. But the Vought International is the international corporation, i.e. Google, Facebook, Apple, whatever. And um, they own pretty much all the popular superheroes. Uh, the Seven is the seven heroes of the America right now. Um, we have Homelander, The Deep, H... Lamplighter before the first season, uh, Starlight is the replacement for Lamplighter, uh, Queen Maeve, Stormfront. And also this guy, <laughs> Stormfront, or uh, I'm sorry, before Stormfront it was Translucent, uh, Translucent was my personal favorite, we didn't get to see a lot of him, but that is personally the power that I would absolutely 110% want, besides like the power of like my manipulation, like Kilgrave from Jessica Jones, but not in the rapey kind of way, just the kind of way in like, you want to give me that $50,000. <laughs> season 3, Theories. So what do we know about Season 3 so far? Well, we know that it doesn't start filming until February 2021. Release date is to be announced, but they recognize it's probably going to be in summer 2022. Uh, Ten months after post-production is whenever first season and second season both premiered, and they usually come out with... Uh, well, the first season came out with all episodes at once. The second season did three episodes on September 4th of this year, 2020, and then did... Uh, episode a week after that probably gonna do the same format this way I mean it was the first time that the boys ever broke the top 10 uh, for streaming like beat out Netflix uh, beat out every other streaming service Amazon Prime <laughs> you have to find the irony in um, the fact that Amazon owns Amazon Prime and they're doing a show about superheroes that is jabbing at capitalism <laughs> and consumerism and yet it's Amazon. So I think that's hilarious. The writers for each episode have not been announced yet. They usually aren't this early. Um, but basically where we left off was um, spoilers. So I'm going to put a spoiler tag in here now um, after season two. So if you don't want to spoil the show, you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Come back to this video. Three, two, one. You've had your warning. So basically after season two wraps up, uh, Homelander has lost Stormfront. Um... Homelander and Billy Butcher, you know, had a kid, Ryan, and basically Ryan, whenever seeing Stormfront uh, killing his mother, had an active rage and blew the fuck up. <laughs> Literally, uh, it killed Stormfront. I mean, this was a soup that was seen taking lasers from Homelander, like, full on. Maybe he was holding back, but, um,. Knowing that psycho, I don't, I, I don't know. 
the best thing about the boys that I really like is the time period. Uh, see, the, the comic came out, and it was in 2006, and it was very uh, post-9-11. Um, extremely, you know, I mean, Victoria Newman was uh, Vic, and he's a man, the vice president in uh, the comics, and he was said to have a one-digit IQ. He was clearly a parody of old W. And now we're looking at George W. Bush as the good old days with people like Donald J. Trump in the White House. But not anymore. But I'm not going to get into politics. This is about the voice. But uh, the time period has changed. That's why the TV show has had to adapt certain aspects of it. Like the gender flip with Stormfront. I mean, Stormfront in the comics was one-dimensional. He was the Nazi that, you know, you wanted to kill. Stormfront was very cleverly written, if not, you know, a little on the nose. But uh, my personal favorite, Anthony Starr, Homelander. He actually, he actually did something really cool. He liked my tweet right here. Really cool. Fuck soups. Fuck Homelander. Fuck a train. Fuck the set. From Halloween, I thought that was really neat. He has a lot of fan engagement, but um, he's from New Zealand, uh, so he's like a uh, flight of the Concords, You know, Jermaine Clement, Brett, something, <laughs> Taika Waititi. Uh, I mean, New Zealanders are notoriously nice, so um, it's really, really weird seeing this uh, psychopath superhero, you know, uh, uh, the blooper reel that came out. In cold blood. By the cartel super fucking villain? Ah! Tough crowd. Season one was a great first season but I think season two was even better and I personally think season three will be even better than the first two because Aaron Kripke was quoted saying uh, Homelander is going to be a homicidal maniac in the first two seasons he you know had daydreams of lasering entire crowds with his laser eyes but uh, they're implying that he's actually going to do so in this season and with uh, they already have the whole story written out they said that they're going to go for five seasons so we're about midway through almost and um, I think that this would be the perfect opportunity for homicidal homelander to come out Billy Butcher and the boys are going to have their work cut out for them that's why I think they're going to need Soldier Boy that's why I think that soldier boy is going to be on the boy's side uh we left huey with victoria newman who was seen to be the head popper so that was pretty wild uh i did not see it coming uh when you go back and rewatch it there are little subtle hints like um after uh they meet with rainer man your nose Must be a strip out there. Her head's gonna explode. Francie, who do you know who can do that? No one. Look, I have a daughter. I'm worried about super terrorists too. But that does not mean that Vought can use that. Just little things like that are nice. Will Huey working for her be a benefit or a bad thing? Ah. That has yet to be seen. I mean, her motivations might be for Vought. If we all, you know, she killed uh, 14 people in that Congress room and a shockwave. RIP, gone too soon. But um, at least A Train will be the fastest until, you know, he has a heart attack and dies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, I have a loose crown and it's bothering me. But um, I really believe that season three is going to be amazing. And the fact that they're doing so much work and putting so much work into it, and, you know, they're taking their time doing it correctly, I really believe that they're going to do huge things this season. Um, you know, the fate of Ryan, Ryan the son of Homelander and Becca, Becca RIP too. I, I'm glad that they killed her. I mean, I, <laughs> that was mean, but... Really though, uh, the actor and Carl Urban, she's a great actress, but um, her and Carl Urban's chemistry was not very 
good, in my opinion. Um, ah, ASMR. But now that she's gone, now we're going to be able to see Ryan's character arc. He's under Mallory's uh, guardianship, the CIA. So I guess, in the end, Ryan may be raised the same way Homelander was, <laughs> without a mother. However... He might still have a dad in, but in old Billy, but Billy, B B B B Billy Butcher. So I guess that will have yet to be seen. I mean, he was literally about to murder this kid. He was going to take a crowbar to his head. He didn't care if it killed him because he just lost the love of his life. Ryan killed her by accident, of course, but he's still. But whenever Homelander comes down um, and the kid actually walks towards Billy, Billy stands in front of him and he says, uh, you're not getting through me pretty much. But yeah, season three, the boys discussion video. I'm uh, working on a new video. Um, it's gonna be a long one. It's about some really, really fucked up, crazy shit going on uh, in this uh, Facebook group uh, that my friend is an admin for. It's called uh, Fable Hit Posting, and uh, it is going to be a clusterfuck. I got my work cut out for me. Uh, it's going to be really time consuming, so I might might be a while before it's out, um, but I'm going to work my hardest on that. This upcoming week, I have another video coming out. Um, it's a secret. Shh. No, it's not a secret, but you guys might want to check it out this upcoming weekend. Um, I'm going to have a guest never before seen on the channel. So, Anyways, what do you guys think about Season 3, The Boys? Um, and uh, Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks, you guys. Love you. I don't know. Do I?